see most of the white downy feathers are gone now. She's definitely uh, teaching them their table manners. You gotta get in line, take your turn. This one's for you, this one's for you, that one. <laughs> what a great spot. Beautiful Sequamee Falls, Washington, and natural peregrine falcon eyrie. Oh man. See her eye and the markings on her cheeks there. Come up here and see this all just natural. You can see them on buildings and in nest boxes. This is all natural. This is just absolutely fantastic. Come up, get to see the falls, enjoy that, and then you have this here also. It's just incredible. Well, they're getting their breakfast now. They're having a good time. They've been hungry, so. They're doing really well. They were stretched a little earlier, and then they took a little snooze. They were patient. It doesn't take her long. Once she left her lookout tree and went hunting, it didn't take her long to come back or something. That's a little bit of the mist from the falls. It's going to blow away any second here. So nothing to worry about there. Even our breeze is from the right direction. So. Guys, you just really having a good time. You know, I'm having a good time too, because uh, I get to see the mother's face there as she's feeding them. And see these, all these heads moving. So we're in a very good position today for feeding. I like the filtered light. You get the direct sunlight will wash out the video a little bit. This is coming in. Look how quick she can tear off a chunk, you reach over here, hand it to this one, then to that one. I'm amazed. They just kind of stare. They'll reach out to a little tearsel there to the left of her, I think. Yeah, that's him right next to her now on the left. Well, I thought he was on the other side. Well, either way. <laughs> We're not sure we may have two males. I don't know. Two males and two females. I thought we had three females. Anyway, we'll see. We've got four healthy young peregrine falcons anyway. That's the main thing. It looks like they're getting well fed here. <laughs> Call that a feeding frenzy now. Getting some more. Oh, she's just a divvying it up here. I'll let it go. It's a great session. The other day I was here in the same place and they started dive bombing me, but I couldn't figure out what was wrong. But there was a raccoon walked right on the other side of the guardrail here and crossed the back two or three feet from my uh, tripod, so that's why they were, I thought they were dive bombing me, but they're after that raccoon. So that was quite an experience, got the call, seeing that close. And this is why I came up today to get in on the feeding section. We nested uh, many years here. Oh yeah, that one got a chunk, look at that. He got a little more downy feathers on him than the other ones. We're getting them all through. Oh yeah, a little tug of war here. <laughs> I want that, give me a bite of that. Actually, they're not footing or grabbing. They're, they're actually uh, pretty well behaved here. Like I say, she's got them their table manners and they got to line up behavior. <laughs> well, this is just absolutely wonderful to get in on this. I've been coming about every three days, so I check the growth rate and compare it on the video. Then going over to the other side of the mountains over Suquamish Pass to uh, Canyon Road between Ellensburg and Yakima and documenting the prairie falcon iris over there. 
I like coming here because I can get up in the morning and have my coffee and check Critter Zoom on the computer. That's what they got set up here. It's getting the same thing that's going on now. CritterZoom.com Falcon Nest. And, uh, you'll see exactly what you're seeing now right on your computers. But their camera's just, oh, like 50 feet from me, aimed in on the same place, about the same angle. That's kind of interesting. If you got a smartphone, you can pull it up right here and see what I'm seeing right on my camera at the same time. I'm always amazed at the technology that we can see today. Live right there on the computer and on the smartphone. My goodness, these guys are really chowing down. Well, it is the first feeding of the day, so... The way they're feeding, I think it's a good size prey, probably a pigeon, I would think. About three days ago or so, she was uh, feeding the big pigeon. They all got a good feed, then they all slept afterwards. So. Probably do this one. She feeds them this heavy, they'll uh, exercise, jump around for a while, and then uh, take a nap. <laughs> He's doing a great job here. It won't take him long to eat this. We got four youngsters this big eating, and one pigeon probably, so it won't take long. She gets a little bit of it too, I think. It's, uh, beautiful lighting today, all filtered. Don't have the mist there. Everything is dry. a lot of noise in the falls but what can you do that's a lot of water going over there it makes a racket it's part of the natural area oh yeah great spot they turn their head you get to see their eyes and everything my goodness She's doing a fine job, and the other one is still up in the dead tree on lookout, so... I think that's probably the male up there, this is the female feeding them. They were both in the tree earlier, keeping an eye on them. Waiting for a chance to go hunt, and they had great success, so... Nobody's going hungry here. <laughs> This guy's getting full. He's walking around behind Mama here, changing position. Well, I think he's going to have a better shot at this side, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're in the huddle now. They're bent down, getting the last few pieces out of here. Yep. Look at that one next to Mama with mouth open, hollering. <laughs> what a great feeding session. I just had a feeling that something was going to happen really good up here today because the weather looked good. Well, I'll get an early cup of coffee and come up, and I'm sure glad I did. I like the position, too. I always like it. The youngsters with their backs to me, and I can see Mama feeding them all in the road. And they're not behind that bush. A couple of times I came to feeding time, they were feeding behind that green bush to the left, so they don't see much. This is really great. Can't wait to put this on YouTube and share it with all our friends. So. There's one talking about, oh, what? Over on the other side of the bush, kind of spreading out now. They're starting to slow down on the feeding. That one must have got enough. Oh yeah, and I can see Mama really good. Look at those great markings on her head there and the side of her face. My, what a handsome bird. Well, this guy, this gal's walking over here behind Mom now. That's <laughs> kind of pecking at Mom. Mom, I want some more. So we better come around the front here with the rest of them. Watch this. It's calling away here. 
have a little tug of war now. Look at this here. This is just great. Yep, on the right hand side, I'm gonna, I think that's the little male right next to mom and the other three are the females. Right in front and then going to the left. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the three females and one male on this. That little guy's in there, hey mom, I'm right here. The girls ate most of it, give me what's left. <laughs> He's getting it now. Oh yeah, hey, there's big sister. Got me a chunk, she'll run off over here now and go behind the bush, see? All right. See, mama gonna take